What's happening guys, Mikey from Hammer Fitness. Look, I'm gonna give you an amazing tip today. It's actually going to uh, allow you to eat what you want and still get the results that you're after. Now, it's called guesstimating, okay? So you're literally still gonna track it with MyFitnessPal. Like I've recommended in other videos, I highly, highly recommend you getting MyFitnessPal. What this is going to do is going, it's not only gonna teach you where the macros come from, so your protein, carbs, and fats, you're gonna be able to pretty much eat what you want. You're essentially getting a credit or like a spending amount of calories and you get to track it on your phone and that way you can actually see how many calories you got left for the day all right so i'm going to take you to the kitchen quickly okay so after a while you're going to get used to actually weighing in food if you're following a diet every time that you do this little tedious process as tedious as it is let's say for instance i'm having some cheese I take away let's say 15 grams of cheese for this one slice Right, every time you do that, let's say even with nuts or whatever, if you do it with chicken, whatever you weigh in at, you're, you're following a diet with a specific amount of calories. So uh, you got to weigh your food out, know what the grams are, but as tedious as it does sound, you're going to benefit from it because your mind is going to get used to the amounts. All right, That is so, so crucial if you ever want to live and breathe a health and fit, uh, fit lifestyle knowing what you're eating and actually putting in your body especially for portion sizes okay so once you get used to this that's when you can actually still track while you're eating out now that's exactly what we're going to do i'm going to go get, uh, get some breakfast uh, i've got an allowance of 550 calories all right so i'm going to actually take you to where i'm going to get breakfast from uh just a nice breakfast or cafe joint uh, in Baronia, so we'll jump on over there now. So we're on the way over to Forage Cafe in Baronia. All right, so I just want to clarify, this is literally going to be one of the most beneficial lessons for you uh, to actually acknowledge and see how you can still diet. All right, so you're still on a diet, uh, let's say you're trying to lose weight, because too many people think that it's so tedious and so strict, you can't have anything. Uh, but my aim is to literally put the power back in your hands and make you realize you can have close to anything you want, all right? If you're not looking to get up on stage and you don't have to be absolutely specific and exact, have fun, enjoy life still. If you just want to lose a bit of weight, tighten up, tone up, look good, you can still have so much fun with the food you have. And I really encourage literally all my clients and members or whoever see me, um, to break the boundaries, go outside of your diet, but as long as you can track it, and I'm gonna show you how, all right? So once we get to the cafe, I'll show you what I'm having um, because I'm still on keto, all right? So a lot of people think, nah, screw that, you can't go out on keto. Yes, it is a little bit harder, but you can still have a lot of food. Uh, you just gotta make it work. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. All right, so if I can do it on keto, eating out, you can do it on a normal diet or a normal deficit of calories, all right? So I've got 550 calories to spend. Let's go have some fun. Alrighty, so it's always going to start with the menu, see what you can have. Now looking at my diet, obviously keto, I've got to look for the ingredients that I can actually have. Uh, it's a nothing carbohydrate, so I'll scan through this and see what I can get. And then once the meal actually comes out, that's when you can actually kind of assess uh, the portion sizes and the amounts uh, to guesstimate the weight. Uh, and then you can actually chuck it into my fitness pal and then from that, uh, you can subtract it from your daily calories. Right, we'll see how we go. Okay guys, so what we got here is we got our espresso, spinach, bacon, butter, eggs, smashed avocado with a few bits and pieces that aren't going to add up to too many calories. Uh, but now having weighed stuff enough, I know approximate weight of each ingredient. So what I'm going to do is quickly chuck that into my fitness pal. We'll see how we go. Alright, so we roughly got about 50 gram of spinach. 30 to maybe 50 gram of bacon, about 30, 40 gram of butter, one egg, and maybe about mixing of ingredients. The main thing we're looking at here is probably the avocado and feta. And that's probably got around about 100, maybe 120 gram there. So we'll chuck that into my fitness pal, see what it comes back with. Alrighty guys, so we're finished adding in all the ingredients to my fitness pal. So what we're having a look at here 
is I added the avocado. Now the good thing about my fitness pal is you don't always need to know the gram. Sometimes I'll have different serving sizes, like they might even have a whole avocado or using measurements such as cups. So for example, eggs, I don't need to know the grams. Uh, you can go into that and it's actually just one large egg. <coughs> so it'll give you the calories or approximate. All right, so remember we're just guesstimating, but it's gonna be closer than not guessing at all. Alright, so what I chucked in is one and a half tables of unsalted butter, one cup of spinach, uh, looked about two pieces of bacon, and about 25 gram of feta. So now they were the main components of the breakfast that was going to have all the calories. Now that totaled up to about 640 calories. Alright, so me being on keto, the macros that I'm looking at right here are pretty close to good. I've probably got too much carbs sitting at 14. 58 grams of fat and 23 grams of protein. So that's a relatively good meal uh, for keto. I did go over my 550 that I did say, but now, look, the good thing about this is now that I know, all right, it means I just have to reduce the rest of my day just a little bit, just to compensate for that. So imagine if you weren't tracking, you wouldn't know, and you'd go over, and let's say if you're trying to lose weight, you wouldn't lose weight at all. I right, another thing that I'd recommend doing is overestimate especially if you're cutting if you're trying to actually put on lean body mass uh, underestimate all right so because if you underestimate and you're trying to cut and you go over well you're not burning any fat and vice versa all right so that's that brekkie done that was awesome and that is breakfast done at forage cafe baronia if anyone wants a mad breakfast they gotta try that place out because it is awesome they got a good variety too of uh, different meals um, all of which obviously fit my uh, criteria of foods that I need obviously being on keto they actually do a pizza that's keto friendly they use a cauliflower base but maybe that's for another day so as you can see guys that was really really simple simple as it can get um, all you need to do is have a rough idea on what they're giving you um, You'll be used to, if you followed a diet before, you'll be used to actually guesstimating uh, or knowing how much roughly, that's all you need to know, roughly the grams or the weight for the food. And like I showed you, sometimes you don't even need to know the weight of the food. You can simply uh, just use a different measurement like a cup or a handful or a piece if it's like an apple or an avocado. Um, and that way you can actually track it. All right, so simple as that guys, I really encourage you to do that because <clears throat> that way you're gonna stay motivated and you're not gonna really fall off track with all that motivation because At the end of the day you want to be able to eat the foods you want to eat and especially going out enjoying breakfast enjoying dinner wherever you want All right, and if that's what it means go for it. All right, so that's it for me today guys I'll see you guys in the next video